Hello, everybody. I'm Chris Ballard. And I'm Neon Travis, Chan. kin of Neon Jane. <laughs> Interrupted me <laughs> like a badass. Yeah. <laughs> so today we're Neon. fighting... Iverleth. Iverleth. Of the, the Wild Hunt from Witcher 3. Arguably the hardest boss in the game. Uh... I would say he's second only to uh, the, that mage towards the end, but we're talking about... Oh, Imberleth. Okay. <laughs> Why did I think his name was Iverleth? Is someone else's name Iverleth? Okay, whatever. So, one of the things you need to know about uh, Imberleth is that he does a shit ton of damage really fast. And the thing is that... And he's faster than you realize. Oh, yeah. Like, uh, there's very little reaction time between his swing and your dodge. But your strategy for the first part of this should be not getting hit. You want to try to get behind him and just hammer on his back. And sometimes it's unavoidable, so you want to keep Quinn active for mo as much of this fight as possible. If you have any Tawny Owl, uh, I, I would suggest using it. Yurden is actually more important than you would realize because it slows it down getting your reaction time higher. Yeah, like he he gets super as slow you see here, in my sword is As you see here, my sword's broken, so... We're gonna my get some consumables up. Oh, I thought I switched swords here. I don't oh, you got some Tawny Owl out. Nobody didn't get a new sword. <laughs> oh, well, ignore that. It only does like minus 15 damage if it's broken, though. Yeah. So it's not too much. But so, what you want to do is just like now, you want to keep stocked on healing items all through this because if you get hit, it takes out a good chunk of your health. That, that mace. It, it, it's, it's bad stuff. <laughs> now, it, his teleporting. Here's, here's where he starts getting harder. Once you get him down to about 50% uh, health, he starts teleporting and engulfs himself in like this white frost where he's more resistant to, uh, what's it called? Igni. I, I have fought him. Uh, yeah. Igni, I, at this point, does almost no damage. From what I remember, at least. I thought Igni is what also... No, Igni is what you use to get that to go away. Oh, oh, never mind. Okay, use that to get it to go away. <laughs> okay, so as you can see here, Yurden is slowing him down a shit ton, so you can just and you dodge that, all around him. And you should know I don't have Erden, Yurden upgraded any on this fight. This is, like, default Yurden. <laughs> so, after you get him down to about a third of health, which was, he's about to do in just a second, the fight gets really hard like immensely uh he's about to start teleporting in the video and as you saw uh travis put on quinn here you need that because when he starts teleporting and you put on quinn that's your like extra life basically because he can teleport from one end of the field to the other and be behind you in a split second there right. there are a few upgrades that i don't have that i recommend you get Right before, here. Before, you're right here. You see this? He drops, he drops his, his shield and he starts teleporting like a madman. You want to keep dodging. Make sure you have perks into the skill where if you dodge, you negate all damage. Yeah. Because uh, that really helps. You just casted Quinn twice. I was... Oh, yes. Whenever he, whenever he tires down, that's when you need to just... If you have Whirl Attack, definitely use that. But you need to hammer down on him while he's uh he's worn out after a, a lot of swings and it's almost like that right there it's and it's almost impossible it, it's not impossible but it can it can almost seem impossible to dodge this guy's attacks what you got to do is you just got to keep quinn out and be vigilant you can't give up yeah you got to have a lot of patience so and the reason I don't have like the world attack, this character's focused more about on the using signs. Except for Yurden. <laughs> Except for Yurden, because I never found it useful until I fought this fight. And now I have it, it's upgraded. Um, it's not upgraded during this fight. Uh, if you have the perk where you can use adrenaline points as signs, you may want to use Igni to get rid of his ice. It doesn't work. It the, doesn't? Whenever he's at this point, he'll just, he'll keep teleporting. Okay, well... In that case, he'll keep teleporting if you use Igni on this part, so don't bother. <laughs> uh, I, I do recommend use, getting that perk, though, to use adrenaline points, and I would also recommend getting the perk to where as you cast signs, you get adrenaline points. Yes, that makes the game a lot easier, especially if you're on Death March. Uh, I've played a little bit of Death March. It is very difficult, but it is possible. Yeah, so as you see, he's now weakening. He's getting closer and closer to death, but you don't have to get him all the way down. 
uh, after a few more hits before his health actually bottoms out, there'll be a cutscene to play, and as long as you follow these simple key points that we've instructed, you should be able to you should be able to get this boss pretty easy. And now we'll see us parry his attack for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> for the first time in forever. <laughs> in a cutscene. <laughs> yeah, so that does it for the um, the strategy guide on Emerleth. Uh, thank, uh, thank you guys for watching. This is Chris and Travis. Leave comments below asking what bosses and which are three you would like us to do guides for. We also might be doing it on Dark Souls, but... That's debatable. <laughs> yeah. Until then... We'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to become a link in the chain. Now I'll let you watch the rest of this video in peace.